Hello, a very good evening to you. I'm Jo Kent. We're all aware of how respiratory viruses can quickly overwhelm the NHS. Think of coronavirus flu and something else called respiratory syncytial virus. Now, you may not have heard of RSV, but it affects almost all children before the age of two. So it's good news that a clinical trial in Southampton to protect babies from RSV is already showing signs of success. Clinicians say they've seen hospital admissions fall by 80%, as Michelle Cross reports. The police has declared a critical incident after thieves made off with uniforms, hats, handcuffs and other items from one of their police stations. They're worried someone could dress up and pretend to be a police officer and have issued safety advice to the public. With more, here's Scott Ellis. A motorist has admitted crashing into a mum in Bournemouth who managed to push her baby's pram out of the way to safety. Rebecca Sharp remains in a... Southern Water says it's repaired a broken sewer in West Sussex three days after it started flooding fields and prompted swimming restrictions as a precaution on some beaches. Scores of tankers were needed to take away more than a million litres of raw sewage after the incident on a site between Bognor Regis and Yapton. The company says no sewage was released into the sea, but some local people are unhappy about the handling of the operation, as James Ingham reports. Yeah, that there... The sewage. A close encounter for John Mono, who took this video on his usual dog walk. He's right, this is raw sewage. Structure failure. James Ingham, BBC South Today, near Bognor Regis. A teacher tried to turn away inspectors amid concerns about the way Ofsted works has been rated good in its latest report. The John a big shake-up of hospital services in Dorset reached an important milestone today. Ceremonies were held to mark the topping out of a new building at the Royal Bournemouth Hospital. The £250 million development will house new emergency, maternity and children's services. In a major reorganisation that's faced much opposition, Bournemouth will become the centre for emergency treatment in the county, while Poole Hospital will focus on planned care. Bryony Leyland was there. It's a bill An update on that. Such a complex job, mm. isn't it? Right. So as you can see, Lewis joins me for some sport. And we're starting with something a bit different, aren't we? I, I didn't actually know this was going to be an Olympic sport. Yeah, breakdancing. We were skateboarding yesterday, weren't we? That was kind of made its debut in Tokyo. Yeah. And in Paris, there's going to be another new sport that's trying to aim at digital audiences. And certainly a, a good thing to, to look at. Breakdancing. It's going to be interesting to see how the uh, Saints manager situation develops over the coming days. Formal approach expected. It could move quite quickly after that. Yeah, no pressure. Get them back to the Premier League. Yep, <laughs> <they need to. laughs> yeah. Thanks, Lewis. Now, um, an artist is drawing 50 sketches to mark 50 years of the South West Coast Path. Now, that's a route which takes in some of the UK's most dramatic scenery. Emma Scattergood is spending the rest of the year walking all 630 miles from Minehead in Somerset to Paul Bay in Dorset. Yeah, she's hoping to raise awareness as well of the work the South West Coast Path Association do and also to raise money for Dementia UK in memory of her mother. Toby Wading went to meet her. That's a bit more like it. Thanks very much, Alexis. Well, that's all from us this Friday evening. Thanks as ever for your company tonight. Tom Hepworth will be back with our late news at half past ten. But for now, from all of us, do have a lovely evening and a great weekend too. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.